is it? Not that interested in these long play games, are they? I think I've played this player before. So, nice long play game. Hoping to get down to 10 minutes or even 5 minutes or even some time trouble. And let's uh, get the bishop out. Got to be careful, it's coming here. Just always remember the knight can come here to defend the pawn. Looks like there's a double dose coming here. I'm going to attack the bishop. Before it all kicks off, it doesn't look like they had that thought in the mind. Uh, let's take. Let's attack the pawn. Say so defense. Opens up the king. Uh, let's just hit the king for a second. This pawn comes, we take, so the king kind of has to move. Knight can't go in front, the bishop can't go in front, so the king has to move. This pawn's got no protection on it, so then we get this pawn with a check. But is it improving my position? Yeah, I might get a check, but that doesn't mean much if it's not doing... So they can dance back, oh, excuse me. He can't go here, so the only place he can go is there. So we could get a draw if we wanted. Oh, he's dropped the pawn. So the queen can come here, going for an exchange. Is there anything else? I think that's about it, isn't it? It's going for all the exchange, or maybe the bishop or the knight blocks either as well. So I could end up trapping my own queen. This pawn has got no protection on, so the queen could take. It looks like a nice spot for the knight to jump to, though. So I'm going to bring this here and then take. And look, maybe for the knight to jump here, depending on what jumps there. He's got three pieces that can jump there. You'd think it'd be the knight, though, wouldn't you? Yeah. So I'm going to take and then look to go here. Obviously it's going to be sinking here. But this pawn's got no protection on. So it's going to cause some trouble. I think the queen's going to look to exchange. That's why I think it's going to happen. We can still put the check on the king here. Which kind of, mind you, he can go there instead, can't he? But we can still take the pawn with the queen. Oh, what's happening? It's not doing what anything I'm saying here. Let's go here. That might be checkmate, you know. No way, that might be checkmate because the only place he can go is here. This goes here. Oh no it's not, sorry, sorry, I'm talking wrong. He can escape there. Yeah. Um yeah, it's, it's definitely that check, isn't it? Maybe the knight comes here, or do we now decide to get the queen off the board? Or well, attempt to get the queen off the board. Although this bishop is uh mm -mm -mm -mm. If we go like that, king moves, bishop can't take this because the queen will just take it. Could attack the rook. the thing when you're doing these attacks it's like oh man you've got to try and find a finish maybe if I do a retreat and I go well okay I've done enough damage I've got them plus three how do we do this check 
He moves to safety. White's great bishop attacks the rook. Oh, then the knight takes, and then we're going to have to take with the pawn because the queen is supporting the knight. I'm not going to get onto a white square to put a check on the king. Let's just put the check on and move, do that simple maneuver. I can't really see anything else. So his king's got a little bit safe over in that little corner. Attack. But the knight could come back around, couldn't it? Oh, it's not doing that. It's not taken. Hit the knight. Why do I feel like I'm getting my pieces trapped? I feel like something's happening where I'm just trapping my pieces. Go here. It's got a two on one. Damn it. Hmm, I don't like it because this rook is coming here and is going to get my knight over pressing. It's not done that. Attack the bishop. I really want to get my queen on a white square, touch that king. Hit the knight. Still coming here, isn't it, with the rook? He's not taking the time to do that, which is, I think, might be good for us. I'm hoping. Oh no, he's coming for the pawn down the bottom. If we hit his rook and defend the pawn, I'm still on 45 minutes. It's a 15 second increment. Hmm, still moving quick. Tail of the tape, plus two at the moment, but it's the position I'm really wanting to get nailed down. We've made space now to be able to hopefully get the rooks involved. But he's also got his rook here, but the knight's there at the minute. So I think the rook is going to be doing something like this hmm yep exact move so we could get the bishop off the board could hit the queen like we said I think that's simple enough What is the objective? Checkmate or getting the king? My pieces are currently on the other side of the board. Maybe go for a squish. It's got a two on one. So we don't go for the squish. We move the knight and attack. As we said here. So we get the bishop off the board. It's the bigger fish to fry than that though. So we go here, we've got access for the putting a check on the king. So 
So I'm going to do that. We've got two pieces there with the queen, the knight and the rook. So he's, oh, he's moved the rook off the line though. So that's not going to be the same, is it? But the pro the issue, well, it's not an issue. It's just that if the knight takes the pot, um, bishop and the queen takes, then we get the rook, don't we? Unless I am missing something completely. Which can happen, how they've realised. Now that stops me from going to this key square. That ain't right, is it? That ain't right. So now if I swing here and attack his queen, he can take the knight. We come down here, put a check on the king and the knight. And we get the rook off the board. If he doesn't take. Okay, let's try that way. Come down with a check and get the rook off the board this way. Hmm. Yep, okay, that'll do. Still moving too fast, but we're seeing these patterns. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything's. I'm not falling into traps, but he has to do something with the king, which means he either loses the knight or the rook, but nothing can block that way apart from a pawn. Well, this pawn could as well, but then he loses the rook anyway. The rook could come across. Oh, but he loses the knight. So, okay, he loses the knight. Oh, dear. So he escapes again. Or does he just go for an exchange? I was just going to say, does he just go for an exchange? Oh man. That's not what we wanted, is it? We're still plus two, so we shouldn't be too greedy, but his knight's got this pawn here. Very nice, very nice. Our pawn's protecting the pawn of the knight, so is, can, our, can we not get something? So if we attack, no, don't do that, dude. He's going to take the pawn here. So take with a check. And just defend. Oh, let's see, it feels a bit lame now. I know we're plus two, but okay. That's what we expect in these games, but we did expect this one to be tough. So it's better than the previous one, so that's okay. So now this feels like a real over the board game, doesn't it? So if we go here, oh, he's escaping, isn't it? So we could save, no, we don't save that because he'll take the pawn. So attack the knight. It's got a little safe haven here. So then if we attack his rook. Is it nice going this way? Mm -hmm. Not really. No, no. Yeah, let's go this way, attack the rook. Does he come to safety? Or does he go and attack a pawn? Rook in the center of the board. Only if it's to your benefit. I'm hoping that that works for us. Start swinging the rooks up, maybe doubling up. He might want to stay on this line because he's pressuring this pawn. So maybe he comes down and attacks the knight. Oops, excuse me. So if he attacks the knight, we can swing the knight up here, attacking the rook again. Only okay. And say only issue is this rook would have been able to come here. So they're allowing us to do a merry dance. 
with the knife. So if you come here, this rope can come here, obviously, but then we can go here and get a fork. Let's give that a try. Key square. Hoping it goes there. It can happen. I'm hoping that they make that move and if they do then I'm ready for it. Okay, deep calculation time now, isn't it? Just because I've got two pawns up doesn't mean a right lot. I have to support them going up. End game. End game practice. Oh, it can be so painful. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's hey. Eh? Was that a give up move or am I getting mashed? We take his pawn takes. Rook comes. Knight defends. Oh, that's a bit of a headache. Um, we've got more material plus two. I suppose we should just take. It's not said it was a mouse slip or anything, so... They have captured, got to be careful here. He does have a flexible knight bouncing around all over the place. Expecting the rook to challenge, but our, so he's defending. So we could push. That's the picture I saw up to. And it all depends from here. What do we actually do? I suppose we can still, maybe not attack the rook. in the pawn as well and if we take it's not necessarily going to take because we take his rook off the board so we're going to take the pawn don't want to get it trapped swing it back That's an opportunity to take. <laughs> but then the knight takes. We can push on to the knight. Although his king is closer to these pawns here, isn't it? Interesting times. Yeah, I thought that. Yeah. So he's banking on his king wiping out our pawns here.
Oh, the design. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, it's just by this 14. Alright, fair enough. 